So guys, the state of Phantom Forces. Now, Phantom Forces, you guys have probably realised, has got a lot worse recently. Of course, this is just opinion, okay? It's my opinion, but it's also a lot of people's opinion. And I don't think, I don't think it's a very, like, far-fetched opinion. Obviously, it's subjective, but I, th I feel like the game genuinely has got worse, okay? And I, I really wanted to just address this. There's a lot of, a lot of factors involved. Something I really wanted to talk about, I didn't know when to, but today's the day, okay? Today's the day. Now, my bad if this is disorganized. I've wrote a few points down. I, I haven't, I haven't wrote, like, a whole script or anything, okay? So this, this could be a little bit, a little bit all over the place, but... I'm going to start the video by saying I love Phantom Forces, but I also hate it at the same time at this point, okay? It's been the game that I came up on, you know, I, I basically, I wouldn't call it a career, but I, I made something out of this game, okay? Call of Roblox Year 5 and Phantom Forces, I've done something out of it, yeah? So I love the game, of course I really loved it in the past, and I'm, <laughs> this is where the hate part comes in, I'm growing to hate playing it. I still like it, especially for videos, it's not too bad, there's days where it just frustrates me and nowadays I just, I, I often just don't upload on those days but there is times I can really like the game, okay? It's not the end of the world for it, if that makes sense, like I'm, I'm not saying, oh this game's absolutely terrible but in a sense, like a lot of the time I'm playing it is pretty bad, alright? I, I, I'm just gonna be real, okay? It's, the thing is as well, it's still one of the most well-made games on Roblox, but I would say the gameplay is what's really just, it's not as good anymore, okay? So this video is gonna be fairly like surface level. I'm no master about what's going on in like, you know, the stylish studio scenes, all the like small updates, the technical details for this game, okay? This is just how I feel about it and I, r I really wanted to discuss it. Although it is surface level, I, I don't think that really matters because I'm not trying to be scientific. This is just the player's perspective of the game. So, God Status has made a video on this game, and Billy Curve also made like a, a response to this. So, I'll, I'll try and remember to link their videos in the description. But they make some quite quite specific points, especially more about what's going on in Stylist Studios. I'm not gonna like, you know, get too into them or be on the same level. This is more my take on the entire like big picture of Phantom Forces, because obviously. Some something's up with the game, you know what I mean? I, I feel like I, I always get comments like Pokey, why do you still play this game? Or Pokey, I've quit this game, or I'm gonna quit this game, or I don't like this game as much as I did. There's still a lot of you guys that enjoyed the game, which is good. Not saying you shouldn't, but it's <laughs> it's got big enough. I, I know it's not just me, okay? I, I know. Now God Status did mention about Stylist Studios and how it seems like they don't care about the game. I completely agree with this. At the top flight, like, of, okay. First of all, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm not trying to start any problems with Stylist, of course. Also, I don't know what's actually going on behind the scenes, so this could be a very uneducated point of view. But it doesn't seem like at the top flight of development, they're caring too much about making the gameplay better, getting the right people, like, slightly, like, further down in Stylist to do the right jobs and just progressing the game like actually making it good for the players they just feel like they're coasting with the game they're not really doing too much with it you know what i mean and i feel like if they improve the game they would make more money like the game would have a lot more long-term popularity and it, it would go forward with roblox but at some point i wouldn't be surprised if there's another fps game that overtakes you know provided that roblox keeps growing in popularity and remains as popular as it is i can see another fps game just overtaking it. I'm, sh I'm sure it's in the works now the stuff about stylist studios also at a moderation level they don't it seem like from what i can see it seems to be a, li a little bit of a shambles apparently they like demoted one moderator who is doing like really good things for the game who, who, who also hates me <laughs> and the point is okay stylists don't seem to be organizing themselves properly they don't really seem to be taking it seriously you know what i mean it just doesn't seem like they want to make the game better now some specific issues i have about the game and i want to i want to start this by saying i care more about the overall gameplay than the glitches i don't care too much about these glitches 
it happens. There's gonna be glitches. When it seems like they're focusing way more on like, you know, glitches and trying to make the gameplay like really immersive and good quality, it doesn't seem that good. And for me, I'm gonna get more into this, but the gameplay is just like quite dead at the moment. It's quite stale and you can say that's just my opinion which it is but i know a lot of people do feel the same way as i said and the game just doesn't feel like special anymore you know what i mean it's crazy it doesn't feel as as great if that makes sense so i'm gonna get a little a little bit more into that after i address these glitches the first one is a hit registration now i believe I believe they've improved it quite a bit in the last few weeks, I could be wrong, but there's still a lot of issues with like hit registration, all kinds of inconsistencies with doing damage, and also inconsistencies with connection, like people having internet lag and having the advantage, which God Status did mention, you being able to shoot people behind walls, taking cover, and then because someone has bad internet, they kill you and they get the advantage. There's a ton of connection issues I could get further into. Of course, this is more of a vague thing, okay? God status goes into this in a lot of detail, and I'm pretty sure stylists know the problems as it is. But these issues are just bad, okay? As far as the actual game, I've worked out that my main issue with the entire thing, like my number one primary issue, if I had to take away anything, is the maps in the game, okay? The maps, especially the new ones, in fact, like, it, it may sound like I'm just trapped in nostalgia, I don't, I don't think, I, I don't think I completely am, I think I have a genuine point here. The maps are just not as good, they're not as fun, they're not as engaging, the gameplay isn't as good, they're often, like, too big or too, like, you know, too many corners and make the battles too spread out, which causes, like, the games to be more boring. The maps can often be quite bad for sniping, and I'm not gonna go too much into that because I understand sniping's just one part of the game, but it's not very nice, like, you know, half of these maps where it is so much more effective to use automatic weapons on top of how effective it already is taking away the layout of the maps the maps just aren't that good gameplay wise they don't look that good either like the colors are very like I don't know, they, they always seem to be quite bland, quite like, uninteresting, and the maps are just a bit boring as well, it's crazy to me, the whole colour scheme and look of the game is just a bit like, yeah, stale, not very nice, specifically with the maps, you've got luck, which is genuinely my least favourite map on the whole, the whole game, it's just such a, it's hard to pinpoint what my problems with these maps are, but it's so like, the, the fighting spread out at the same time as the gameplay being like a little bit messed up. The map doesn't look nice. It, it's just, it's just a trash map, okay? It's just a really bad map. I, I did quite like the Blizzard map, so I, I will respect that. It's not the best map in the world, like, it's not, it's nowhere near the same as like the original maps and a lot of maps they have in other games, like, consistently. It's no crazy it's no Ravod, it's no Metro. I know <laughs> I know that's a controversial opinion, but personally, Metro is a good map. It makes for good games. The old highway was sick. The new one is still decent, but I, I, I wouldn't say they particularly improved it, although it does look nicer, so I I'll give them that. Desert Storm's a pretty nice map as well. Again, I'm not sure I prefer it to the old one, but it is it's a cool map, so I would respect that. Then you have Ruins, which is decent when you're using automatic weapons, but it's not great, and it is so bad for sniping. I really don't like the map, just the way the gameplay is, it's not very good. Suburbia and Warehouse are decent, they're, again, they're, they're pretty good for using automatic weapons, but they're not that fun, they're quite stale. Mirage is quite stale as well, it's only good for like, you know, long range combat, that sort of thing. And it's a very spaced out map, which I don't like. It, I just don't like these really, this really slow pace that the game has nowadays. It's just not nice. Now, I'm probably missing a ton of other maps. Rig can be decent, but it, it's similar to Warehouse in Suburbia. It's still not that great, okay? And for sniping, it's bad. Then I'm remembering Oil Refinery. Absolute trash. I'm not even going, I'm not even going into that. So as you can, as you can see, at least in my opinion, a majority of the maps are bad or just average. It makes the game so much worse. You have to wait for lobbies which actually have like sick maps. And even then, the gameplay, it isn't always that good, you know what I mean? Next, the new guns they're adding. Now, I appreciate them for adding all these new guns. In all fairness, they've been doing good with, like, the 
you know, they added this stay your scout, I guess, they've been adding quite, quite cool stuff, so I, I do respect that, but it feels like most of the guns they're adding are just more of the same, more boring stuff, more repetitive stuff, more just regular automatic weapons, 30 bullets in the mag, nothing particularly special about them, you know what I mean? It's really boring, it doesn't feel like a good use of resources, there are plenty of games with like barely any guns that are just different enough and in engaging enough to be good. For me, it just feels like Phantom Force is a ton of like average guns and a few standout guns and a few trash guns. It's, it's mostly just average. I would love for them to add more creative weapons like that's the other thing. They're not pushing any updates for stuff like, you know, they they're gonna they were gonna add new new accessories like new you know in the grenade section there's like it's called like accessories or something like that i feel like they've been hinting at that for like three years and there's been nothing so more like tactical grenades something like throwing knives would be excellent also in the weapon front like they could be adding stuff like maybe you know, crossbow sort of thing, ballistic knife, something a bit more explosive. I'm just thinking, like, stuff that makes the game more interesting, adds a bit extra, adds a bit of extra stuff to the gameplay. I think they could easily make it so it's balanced enough. I, I don't get why they don't just try and make more interesting stuff to just make the game more interesting. It's just very stale and very... It's very easy to just go through the stuff and that's it. It's, it's a bit boring after that. Another really, really, really key criticism I have about the game is the framework. The framework, I, what I mean by this is like the movement of the characters, the movement of the weapons, the animations, the GUI, all the like, you know, the stuff on the screen, like the, I guess the UI, you know, when you get a kill, when you, all of that sort of thing, right? It's something that adds to the look of the game, and first of all, with the look, I don't think it's that, it, it adds to like the staleness of it, it adds to the, it's just not very, it's not great, and Phantom Forces are like, they have so much potential, they have so many skilled moderators and developers, yet it feels like they put all their energy into, I don't know, <laughs> just stuff that isn't that good, stuff that's helping virtually no one. The framework is so unsatisfying, like it's so dead to get kills with, it's so like almost awkward and like, you know, a little bit off. In 2016, the game used to be, and again, this, this might seem like nostalgia, but the framework of it used to be so satisfying, so engaging, almost like addictive, really nice, really enjoyable to play like a ton. Now it's just like, underwhelming again stay you that's the key word stay you the whole game has just become stay you they've been saying like with all this stuff they've been trying to make the game more realistic that's what i get the impression that they're trying to do trying to make it i guess they have a certain vision but i don't think <laughs> i don't i don't like that vision first of all if you're trying to make a realistic game you're not gonna succeed on roblox so if you are i don't feel like they're even going the right way with making the game realistic if you look at phantom forces it doesn't feel realistic at all they're trying to make it realistic on a block game on roblox.com they are trying to make phantom forces realistic and it it doesn't work i don't get what the point is they're sacrificing legitimate like enjoyability making the game fun just to make it realistic for whatever reason if they're trying to make it realistic why don't they add a ton of other stuff like obviously they shouldn't add this but like hunger <laughs> you know what i mean y you know where i'm trying to go with this like they could make the game like a simulator i don't think that is what they're trying to do but if that's their excuse it seems stupid to me i think they should just work on making the gameplay sick there's a ton of games i don't want to i don't want to use fortnite as an example but at, at some point to a lot of people ironically not to me but to a lot of people it's a super engaging game, it's super fun, the game is not realistic in any sense. Yeah, it is fun, it is successful, and I know Phantom Forces don't want to be Fortnite, but like, couldn't they just work on making the game a bit more satisfying, a bit fun? That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking to see, just add fun stuff. Why do they think I've been, I was making so many modded Phantom Forces videos in like 20, 2016 and 2017? It's because they added a ton of extra stuff, a ton of like, engaging just different stuff that made the game super satisfying they made sniping fun they made 
all kinds of things. They literally made their own crossbow. Okay, that that's what level we're talking about here. Now, a few issues I have with the actual like gameplay. I'm gonna get into a completely redundant problem I have about the game, which honestly, there's nothing you can really do about it, and it's it's very debatable whether it's a problem at all. Something that makes me enjoy the game less is that. <laughs> So many more people try really like real hard in the game The game's just gotten to the point where there's so many people who have like got a lot better got more into it and Just try really hard what wanna I guess say you wanna be that that rank 300 master who, who can get like 20 KDRs every game It makes the game just <laughs> More stressful, more frustrating. You can't just sit there and chill, you know. You have to try hard to match their try hardness. That's the thing about it. There's just no chill to it. I barely get on the game now, and I'm like, I, I can just sit there and just have fun, not really focus too much, you know. You always ha have to get like that bit of focus, and it's just different. It makes me enjoy the game less. That leads me to the other point sniping. To be fair, if I'm chilling with like an automatic weapon, I can generally still do, you know, quite well and relax even though there's still people like jumping about all the time who need to chill out it can be okay but when i'm sniping at this point sniping in my opinion has got so much more underpowered and is nowhere near as good as it used to be or any of the other classes weapons whatever whatever you know play styles it is so hard to just sit and like relaxingly snipe on the game obviously okay there may be a clear bias to this because i'm a sniper but it's just how i feel i, I really think this is the truth it's almost like they've been trying to kill off snipers that that's what it looks like to me the framework doesn't help for sniping like it's a lot more it feels like the movement just doesn't complement it that well but more importantly like you know the damage the like the reload speeds the like the fact that you can hit marker a ton and all of that sort of thing it just doesn't stand up to like any other weapons automatic guns are objectively better like you will do better at them if you pick an automatic gun then if you snap and that's crazy like i thought the game was meant to be balanced it makes the game so much so much less enjoyable sniping is a key part to the game it's a great part to the game i don't know why they like don't embrace it more you know what i mean it just doesn't feel as fun to snipe always focusing on getting headshots with this like weird framework and the the dodgy connection the glitchy the glitchy stuff it's just not that nice with the stale gameplay as well the bad maps you guys see like how the gameplay's felt worse for me and it probably has for you guys as well i don't know why i'm trying to like almost prove my case because you guys can probably see where i'm coming from with this so yeah as i say i just want them to improve the gameplay make it more satisfying make it just fresh that's my main thing and i feel like there's more of a debate to be had about this from my in my eyes they should put more focus on to making sniping better as well I don't think it's just the damage, I think the framework has a lot to do with this. You may disagree with me, but I think the game is getting worse. So many people are quitting because of this, so many people are enjoying the game less. Old players, OGs, are literally quitting. YouTubers are dying out and quitting, like you've got, you know, Petrify was gonna quit for like 3 weeks. Sins quit. Billy Curve has quit Phantom Forces. There's God Status, there's Silent Sniper. I guess there's still Petrify, he has made a comeback to the game. And there's me, who else? Simulated Sky, Jemmy, they quit a while ago, Agent John, long gone, you know what I'm saying? Phantom Forces just hasn't been the same, the community hasn't been the same, nothing's been the same. I'm sure the competitive scene hasn't even been the same. As far as sniping goes, like my own community, the, the Paradox, the, the clip hitting community, that's dead. Like there's still stuff, there's still people doing stuff. But there's no denying it's dead. Final Forces improved their game. It could come back heavy. Really. If if they if they fix Call of Roblox Year 5 and make it great, it could be amazing. But it doesn't seem like they're on the right track to do it. It just seems like they're hiring the wrong people. They don't have the right interests about the game. It's like they don't care. The game is just not as good as it's been. I can still get enjoyment out of the game. I can still make videos which I think are good and I can I can enjoy making. But as a whole, the, the game's full enough, okay? Stylists don't really like me, but I hope they like fix up. Because 
I, I came up on Phantom Forces. This game's been, this game's meant a lot to me. And you know what I mean? It's, it's sad to see it go downhill. I, I don't even know. I hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope this can start a discussion. Really, this should start a big thing like, Stylus, please, please, please improve your game. Fight with them. I would get rid of all the trash maps. It, it may it may seem like extra content, but for me, I don't know how to, I don't know the word, like diluting. Sort of diluting the game with bad quality stuff. When it's unneeded, you just get more bad gameplay. I wouldn't say there's any guns which particularly ruin it, but you know what I mean, just make more interesting stuff. Try and improve the, try and improve it. Just make it better, make it, I, I've been saying this, I've been repeating myself, but yeah, more satisfying, nicer. Better, more enjoyable. Core 5, that was lovely to play. There is a ton of games on Roblox which are lovely to play. They just don't have the same, like, you know, concept as Phantom Forces does. And they don't have the same skilled developers, which makes it even sadder because you've got such a skilled development team who are making a bad game. That's how I feel. Thank you for watching. I hope, <laughs> I hope this doesn't come out too negatively in the sense like I hope it's not a super depressing video where it's just like moan, moan, moan. For me, it's more criticise, 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 addressing an actual problem. So that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit the like button and if you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. But yeah, I hope this starts something. I hope it does. So guys, that's been it from me. Thank you so much. And I'm out, guys. It's been Pokey. Peace. Fire burning inside my eyes. This the music that saved my life. Y'all be calling it hip hop. I be calling it hypnotized. Yeah, hypnotized. Trap my body but free my mind. What the f are you fighting for? Ain't nobody going at war. My details be retailed. Man, I got so much in store.